Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation, and I am in an extremely green GIF custom. Um, I think these are basically uh, animation Zaku colors, because I, of course, Battle Operation used kind of muted realistic color schemes, and I said, well, that won't do, and went for something more anime-inspired as best I could, though this green is actually still too vivid for Zaku's in the original animation. In some of the spin-offs it's about right, but animation, original animation, Zaku's were a little bit more pale. Not quite as pale as the default in this game, but not this green either. Um, if I'd thought, if I'd remembered this goof, I would have posted this on St. Patrick's Day, but oh well. Too late for that now. This is an all goof assault mode round we did ages ago. Well, obviously, the game's been gone for nine months, as I've said a couple of times this week. But yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, one of the custom rounds we did for ourselves near the end. And yeah, it is all goofs, and I am so sorry, Eric. All goofs, and the Vish Donahue goof here is kind of a real spoiler, or it can be with this kind of round, because... It's a general type, so it has type advantage on uh, on melee types, which are all the rest of the goofs. So if you have too many Vish, it's it's really a tough round for the melee type goofs. Luckily, that wasn't a thing here because we only have one Vish on each side, so that's that's something. I'm in the middle of a pile of enemies here, and it is not doing well for me. Wanted to get a parting shot before I ran off. Instead, I managed to keep myself around long enough to get stunned. Uh, got Eric killed. Apologies there, man. But I am managing to escape bit by bit. And I'm far enough that out that I can switch back to... Oops, I got hit with the heat rod. I was trying to do that to them, but it didn't work. And now I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm going to be dead. Yep, it is just time for a tackle. He used his shot, but I'm going to get shot. Yep, they had two people with Gatlings on me. I was going to die. I'm not sure if I did any damage on my way out or not, but I sure tried. And, but yeah, it's, there was a long time there where I didn't play the Goof Custom. When that 8th MS Team situation battle came back up, I really got to enjoying it more again because you actually with if you play carefully you really can pull off some some Norris Packard quality stunts in that uh, in that stage with those gun tanks it's hard but I had a couple of goes and I watched a couple of people play that really well and yeah you can have some fun with it Let's see they managed to miss on their downswing I'm getting kept still while I try to move in on them and do some kind of damage, any kind of damage, and kill them, but they're nearly dead. I did finally get them! I should have just focused on getting away instead of doing that tunnel vision thing, but they actually did a really good job of keeping me stunned for the most part without knocking me over. Uh, the thing about the Goof Customs Gatling is that it is... if I could aim properly, which is giving me trouble, it has tremendously good range. I never timed that right. But their tackle is done, so I managed to knock them down. As far as I can tell, if you get hit with a melee attack mid-swing, you just, you know, topple over. I need to get away, because if... You know, whichever of us swings first in that engagement is going to uh, win. Managed to take out that goof as I went by. And now I'm going to get shot in the back by the vision kill. Yep. Yeah, like I said, since the other thing, besides the fact that it has type advantage, the, the Vish Donahue goof can stun at range, which really gives it an advantage in this arena. So, we just lucked out here. I don't know if we had set a one Vish per side rule, but I know at one point we had determined that too many Vish Donahue goofs made this a real slog. So I know that we were trying to cut back on that. So, I don't, yeah, I, I don't remember if we've set any special rules. It's been a long time. We've got a thousand point lead. That's not much. 
I'm not sure if these are... I, I'm not sure if we had a level limit or if it was any good goes. Thinking level limit because uh, we all have... Our point values are displayed up top and they're relatively low. Man, I cannot tackle to save my life. But I may as well move in and melee to try to. Because that guy used their tackle. I jumped because that would... Because basically the worst that happened was I'd get knocked down and hopefully take a little reduced damage while, you know, I get this vulnerability and reset. I don't know how well that worked, but... Yep, that's the Vish. That's why it can dodge roll. And that's why it has the uh, giant bazooka. And I am dead. Yeah, so... Still, we've still got a pretty solid lead. And just totally by accident, I just noticed it's not just that we each have one Vish Donna Hugo. We have completely balanced teams. We have two Goof Customs, one Goof, one Vish Donna Hugo. That's pretty good. And I got knocked down again. They are doing tremendous damage to me, but... Man, the leg reinforcement really does last on this. I probably... I don't know if I put a database link on this, but I probably should have. Because, man, with that swing, but otherwise I did pretty well. Yeah, I'm trying to keep on the Vish Donahue so it stays off our team, but I'm about to die. Yep. I wish I was able to understand the type programs a little bit better, because there are uh, custom parts you can equip that change your type vulnerabilities, make you take less damage from the type you're vulnerable to, and do more damage to the, uh, uh, to, you know, one type or another. I'm not sure if there was one to increase damage to the type you're vulnerable to, but I, if I'd paid more attention, I might have been able to reduce the type advantage that uh, male, that uh, generals had on this good. Which, oh, got the kill, and I think that won the match, so nice job, everybody. Yes, this extremely green goof... Uh, I guess I did okay in the end. Got killed a lot, got surrounded a lot, but I did get a couple of kills in there. I still fully expect to be the lowest rated thing on the team, and honestly, that's fine. I'll live. But we did win, so hooray. And let's see. Um, okay, second lowest. Uh, Eric was the lowest with the standard goof. Xeon did pretty well with his standard goof, and Zero, of course... Uh, Zero and Heavy both did the absolute best in their uh, Vish Donahues, so that's not a surprise to me. So yeah, that that concludes our week of Gundam Battle Operation. I'm not sure what's coming up next week. When I get time to record it, I'll know. And then the following Monday, you'll know. So it's going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation. We'll be back soon with more something. So until next time, Everybody take care and have fun. Later!